In our previous demo, we used join features with the join one to many operation parameter. Because in that case, we would like to transfer all the attributes in my join layer to my target layer when there is a match. Now, let's see an example of when to use one to one as the join operation parameter. In this case, I would like to have zip code areas to include the additional information about the schools within each zip code. So my target layer will be the zip code areas, which is available in the Living Atlas library. And the layer to join will be my schools layer. And for the spatial relationship, it will be completely contains. So the zip code contains the uh, schools information. In the, my results, I would like to include the summarized school enrollment of all schools within each of my zip code. This is when I will use one to one as my join operation. So I would like to get the summary of all the uh, total number of enrollment within each of my zip code. So I'm going to uh, give a name to my result layer. I'll call it USA zip code areas with school enrollment. And then let's go ahead and run the analysis. So now let's check out the result from our join features tool. So let's clip on this zip code area. You can see that in this zip code area, we have one school and the summary of total number of uh, student enrollment in that school is 9,000. Let's choose another one. So for this one, we have two schools within that specific zip code and total number of student enrollment is about 15,000.